Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the sub subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all. Okay, so I'm talking about Bango, a new exclusive video, they will definitely be notified right here. The former two-time unified every uh, champion of the universe, Anthony Joshua, um, went on to his social media platform to announce that um, that it is nearly done. The con the con negotiation in the for his next fight is nearly here. Joshua said, "I quote, nearly finished my negotiations for my next fight. Feeling motivated. We know that the possible opponents Joshua is set to fight are as follows." Senator Dubois, Joseph Parker, or Zhang Jili. Those three fights are a good fight. But Joshua would fight Dubois if the IBF title is on the line and IBF need to make a decision ASAP as soon as possible. But then another thing that's really surprising is that Joshua has not given a middle finger to all the haters. I'm talking about to all the British um media that didn't that wasn't that 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 despise him not despise him but uh good haters of him loki hayden that turned their backs when he lost people even told him to retire the likes of gary hay davis who i thought was like uh i know he honestly knew he was a, a fury fanboy but joshua gave this guy basically exclusive interview before joshua spoke to this guy but Joshua, I think he's beginning to see that all those guys are nothing but pretenders and chameleons. Joshua Sarai, I quote, They love you when you are winning. They also laugh at your demise. Above all else, always work in your own power. Joshua basically giving all the British media the middle finger on his way back to reclaim his throne. Way back to become a three-time every world champion. I think Joshua is on the right path. And this is why you don't really see Joshua get into give exclusive interviews to a lot of the British media anymore. You see that? When was the last time you saw Joshua on IFA TV? A long time ago. Or uh, even they don't used to get exclusive interview with, with Joshua, but they don't really get him anymore. Unless Joshua has a fight. And he just talks about the fight only. The commentators on the zone love them. We know our pure hitters. And also, we know what they wanted to do. And I'm so glad that Joshua finally realized his worth. Now, he's on the right path. And now, he's focused. We, the Joshua fan, we never give up. I know Adewale, our brother, has always been a water fan. But he got to respect Joshua as well. Adewale, Joshua's next fight. The press conference will take place 26th of this month. Who do you think it would be? And do you think it's Dubois? I hope it's Dubois. You know, I hope it's Dubois because I think Dubois will give Joshua a competitive fight. I would still favor Joshua to come out with a victory, but I just believe that Dubois will make that fight very exciting. With and they might or, even win. With, with or without the belt on the line, uh, you see, are you saying that or what? Oh, with or without the title? Yeah. You know what? This is my own personal. I opinion. think I think without the title is not. I don't think it, Joshua should take that fight. There's nothing to gain, bro. In my opinion, without yeah. the title, you, 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 you speak. It's, it's a big risk for Joshua. You know, now now I'm I'm advocating for AJ. Without the title, a fight against Daniel Dubois is a high risk low reward situation i mean he would make a lot of money but if his goal is to become a three times champion then there is a big risk because it's possible um if there is a title on the line then he should definitely go for dubois it will be financially lucrative because i believe saudi will be involved and also there will be a title on the line and in my own opinion, I am rooting for Dubois to fight for a world title because he was robbed against Usyk. That's that's my conclusion. I know people might disagree, but I concluded that Dubois was robbed against Usyk. That was a clear victory 
the low, the so-called low blow, but they took it away from him because it was Usyk. So Dubois deserves a title shot, in my opinion. As for Zhang Zile, Zhang would have been Zhang will be the third option for me for AJ. I think AJ versus Zhang shouldn't be a title fight if they if they are to fight next. It should be a non-title fight. It's also a risky fight, but I think it's less risky than Dubois. Dubois right now is a more risky fight than Zhang Zile. That's how I see it. All right, bro. I understand that. Um, now what about Joshua? No longer giving a half about uh, the British media, giving them a middle finger because you notice know that Joshua used to give exclusive interviews to some of the outlets, media outlets. And I don't want to mention their names, but you know this. Do you think Joshua made the right choice? I mean, at this point, Joshua is already big enough. He's bigger than all these guys. He doesn't need the advantage. No, no, no. He was, already, he was already big then, but he, he, he gave them exclusive interviews. Remember, we were saying, these guys don't like you. These guys don't like you. They talk they, they talk smack about you any any minute they get, any anything anytime they get. And funny enough, it all started when Fury came back into the scene. Proud proud to that when Fury was uh you know dealing with what it deal with, you know, after failing drug tests and stuff like that, we know what happened. He went on a on a madness spree, you know, okay? Then on the madness mm. spree, he went on the madness spree and then came back and stuff like that, preached about mental health issues and stuff like that. Came back winning and got the water fight and stuff like that. And the water fight, he did good the first fight. All of a sudden, this guy switched from, you know, from supporting yeah, Joshua to, to See, Fury. bro, in my, in my own honest, my own personal analysis, and um, people can feel free to disagree. That's no problem. Um, there is a, there is always a risk factor. There is the ethnic factor in everything that goes on in boxing. When AJ was on top of UK boxing, right now he's still one of the top guys, obviously. But when he was the absolute number one guy in UK boxing, it was good for the UK. But I believe a lot of ethnically European British people would have preferred a, an ethnically European British champion. So once they had Tyson Fury come back and had those good performances against Wilder, they had to jump on his train. You mentioned Gareth Gareth A. Davis. Davis, Gareth Davis has always been a Tyson Fury fanboy. I'm not trying to disrespect him. I mean, everybody wants a champion that looks like them, that is from their locality. And that's the same thing that we are pushing to, me and you. You know, we would rather have AJ, an African, and a British African, be a champion. And it's the same way Gareth A. Davis would rather have a European... No, 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 bro. Wait, that, that, Fury no, no, no. no. I, I think we are not ADBC, bro. <laughs> listen, listen, my thing is not about uh, our color or anything like that. First of all, we I'm saying I'm talking about two-faced, like being two-faced. Why, okay, why pretend to, to, to like Joshua and pretend to be Joshua fan and, and now uh, change turn after uh, Fury came to the scene? That just shows you're fake, bro. Because yeah. you, you, was no, a no doubt, man. Meaning you was a Joshua fan. I think you're fake. You was, you was a Joshua fan when uh, everything was going well. When Fury was not your mate, Fury was not in, you know, was not back. And then you wanted, you needed clicks, you needed money. You needed, like, basically needed the clout. Basically, not money, but clout. Okay, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's an elite journalist, but I mean the clout. You need a clout. If you're a box journalist, you need clout, basically. You know what I mean? You need to, to like, to connect with people um, we boxers of our of the boxers that's got the name. This is why he was mm. always he all he was also close to Water, right? You know what I mean? I think because Water gave him more for chance, maybe. I don't know. Are you talking about Gareth Davis? Yeah, bro. I think it was oh, he was also close to Water, but now he's talking shit about Water. Was, well. was it close to Wilder? I mean, Wilder is all the way in America. I don't think, I think they could have I, had any I closeness. think he was, bro. I think he was in a way. I think he was. I think, but, but bro, the bottom line is, you see, you're you're 100 correct. I agree with you that Gareth A. Davis was a little bit two faced. You know, he smiles in front of Joshua, and then he gets in front of Fury, and he berates Joshua in front of Fury. It is he's, he's two faced, and you're also correct. He's doing it for the clout. He's trying to build a bigger name in the amongst boxing journalists. And at the end of the day. It, it is what it is, man. You know, it's just boxing. 
we, we're all emotionally attached to the guys that we like one way or the other. And I understand, to be honest with you, it's, it's all about the business of boxing. I would only have a problem if Gareth A. Davis comes out and starts lying to my face that, oh, no, I'm not biased. I'm not biased. I'm just, no, now I know you're lying. Because obviously you're biased. Just like most of these boxing journalists, they are all biased. Bro, for me, I always say the home of Nigerian African boxing, I say that for a reason. Because I know that not, not a lot of people write for African fighters and Nigerian fighters. You know that already. You yourself know. An American will not write for a Nigerian or African fighter, bro. It's not possible. It's yeah, a different. It's a different. Absolutely. And we are, how many voices? How many voices do we have in this uh, in this hemisphere? How many? Very very few voices, bro. Bro, I don't know how many people that does what, that do what I do. Uh, okay, I don't know how many people that, that do what I do now. I don't know. Like the way I have the way few, I, yeah. the, the very few. So. But you go everywhere, you see Ameri you see Americans, you see British, you see Australians. There are many. Bro, we are even a lot we are not that many, bro. It's just me and some I don't know and some other guys as well. I don't know. They I used to follow one guy then, but I don't know what happened. I think he lost interest. Because you know Yeah, I know that guy. You cannot some people cannot keep up. Because they feel like, oh, you know, so but hi, I'm here. Come Ray, come some when Joshua lost, people expected me to like jump off the train. I was still here. I'm still here now. You understand? I'll still, I will still be here. It's just one of those things. So you get me? Yeah, bro, bro. Let me, let me ask you something. <clears throat> you see, um, if number one, me personally, I appreciate what you do, but do you not think we should probably have, we should, we should dedicate a huge portion of our conversations to local African fighters, guys that are well, I also born do, and bred. If, are you for, from, are you, forget, you, know, are you, are you for are music. you forgetting that uh uh Joshua Wahab was from here? Are you forgetting? Yeah. Are yeah. you, for, are, you for, are you forgetting for la, la, are you forgetting about La Sisi? Are you forgetting about Jagba or Apochi? Or you forgetting about uh, this guy right here? What's his name again? Uh he said to fight now. Um African African Fury. Bro, I do that. You know they just don't fight enough. You know I cannot be create. I'm not. A, I'm not. I'm not going to create fake news. You know. You know, hear what I mean? So I've interviewed yeah, all bro. of them. So I keep doing that. Oh uh, yes, I I didn't. I don't need to get in. I I don't need to get more into other African boxing. But I just don't have a lot of news about them. You know, for Nigerian, I can list. They a lot of these boxers connect me. They send me messages. A lot of Nigerian boxers. I knew a lot of Nigerian bosses through uh, through people sending me messages on on Instagram or Facebook. Say, hey, bro, check this out. Just like how, for example, I knew um, Joshua Wahab through via his management. Then let's say Bo, you know, when it said, when we linked up, when we connected and stuff like that. And then from from uh, Joshua Wahab, I knew another guy as well. So all these guys are sending me messages, and I and I I've already re I reported a lot of them here. Also interviewed them. So. But that's why when I say the platform is growing and everything, so it's just that um, we talk a, a lot about the big boys more because the big boys are, act, are more active. The ones in Nigeria, they are not that active because of the lack of uh, resources and stuff like that. I even try to connect a lot of the British um, promoters of trainers to them. You know, there's a story behind Joshua Wahab. You don't know the story behind Joshua Wahab. What happened? I don't think you know. Only Tad Jagba and uh, Matafa know that. They were it, that that time, bro. Our brother was in deep mess. We had to make rescue him from that. That's why to see him fight in Saudi Arabia, yes, he lost. But to see him do be on that stage, bro, the kind of I was emotional when I saw that. Because if you know the behind scenes, bro, you you self, it was surprised. So that's why I said Nigerians were our brothers keepers. I always I always look out Nigeria like listen. We help each other, we look out for each other, you know. Of course, some people still be saying, man, this poor our guy, this poor one person our guy. But it's, it's everywhere, bro. Even here now. I just got do by a Dutch person yesterday. Yes, and a Dutch man. I got do, I got do by a Dutch person yesterday. Business where I, where I do. But I don't wanna. We did. Well, I'll collect my money back. Sorry, bro. Guys, you heard it from our brothers, <coughs> from our brother, um, Adewale. State for my superior. God bless you all.